Hello Minecraft friends, this is Trethany. Welcome back to Journey Through Minecraft, episode 31. We went into the nether and we did some exploration, but we didn't have a whole lot of things to help that would that would well equip us to really do a lot more exploration into the nether. So as I, I as I mentioned in our last episode, we're gonna do a couple preparation things. We're gonna create a chicken farm, and we really do need to get our sheep farm back uh, remember the wolves ate our, our our all of our sheep so we're gonna have to try to recreate that make it a little bit more better so that the wolves don't spawn in it but I'm gonna put my pork chops in here so that we can cook because I'm almost out of food we'll take the cooked beef and so let's go and uh, prepare oh we probably need to sleep don't we oh, it's getting close all right, so let's get some wood because we're gonna need to make. I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna make it um, out of maybe acacia wood. We need some spruce fence. We'll get some more of our spruce logs, and then um, we're gonna create a better sheep farm. And then we're gonna go find ourselves some sheep, and then. Try to get them to, um, we're going to breed them because we don't have any more sheep. We need, uh, we need wool. All right, so currently our sh we enter through our sh sheep farm this way, which is, we could keep that. Hey, Mr. Cow, I'm going to harvest you for some leather and beef. Uh, we got a good amount. Um, we don't need to harvest any leather right now. But what we'll need to do is create a, a more sturdier um, or more blocked off uh, sheep farm. So what we're going to do is take these fences off, okay, um, because they were not really protecting our sheep from the wolves. So what we're going to do is replace that with some cobblestone and I think this is what we're gonna do so there, there that was one so one and then we will go this way the the base of our sheep oops yeah the base of our sheep farm will be um, cobblestone and then we're gonna build it up with some what's that called some um, spruce blanks all right so let's um, put this here. And I'm just using the left trigger to lay it down. I'm holding it so as you, you may have noticed it went really fast. And that's because I held down the left trigger. And there you go. <clears throat> and it lays it down much faster. All right, so, and then what we're gonna do is create, put this and we're gonna put some holes in here um, just like that and maybe I'll do that okay so really the what's that called the the wolf he the wolf gets along the fence sometimes and they just eat the sheep through the fences so they won't be able to do that with uh, the blocks but sometimes they spawn up in here so if we build a building and put good lighting in there then that will prevent the what's that called the wolf from spawning inside as well so we'll make that identical see we don't we have I don't know where my one bit is it's about to get dark Maybe I put it over here. Yeah, there it is. All right, let's um, put our bed down. I'm just gonna lay it over here for now. Uh, it's almost dark, it should be almost dark. Yeah, there it is, dark. All right, go to bed. Oh. And we're going to fix up this sheep farm. And then we're going to make a chicken farm. Or a chicken auto breeder, sort of auto breeder. All right. All right. So that should be good. And now we'll take our fences. 
and put that, oops, not that. Okay, put that. Um, yeah. And um, we want to, we're probably gonna extend this out some because we're gonna put another fence another fence there so that um, it'll really keep the, the wolf out. Now the wolf could jump up like this, but most of the time they don't. And the sheep may or may not, but they'll, they'll stay down. They should stay down. All right, okay, so what we wanna do is, um, Yeah, we'll do this. Whoa. We don't need it to be too high. Yeah, we'll do that. And then we'll put a roof on top of this. Need some more planks. Some Put my cursor over the planks, press the triangle button, that'll give me enough. Okay, there you go. Okay. That should be good. All right. And then we wanna put some lighting in here. So we'll put two there and two there. Well, what we're trying to do is just put enough lighting. So actually I'll put it right here so that the wolves don't spawn in here. And uh, if we put a roof, that should trigger as like a house so that um, it, will, it will identify it like a house and prevent the wolves from spawning up inside. All right. All right, so let's... Um, Right, this is where we're going to use. Oops, this is where, where we're going to use the. What's that called? Um, these slabs. All right, so let's put the slab and we'll put it like this. go and then we could put another slab on top of here but I'm, what I'm going to use is let's go back down here this is just going to be our basic uh, what's that called um, sheep farm to protect our sheep but what I'm going to create let's go here and get some oak wood And we're going to create some, um, what is it called? Pr not pressure plates, but these, the trap doors, oak wood trap doors. Okay, let's see. I think I needed eight. So there's seven. Okay. So, yeah. All right, so I need... Eight, I think, and then how can I make it look like a screened roof? Because we want good lighting for our sheep, and I know it looks just like a block, but that's okay. Okay, so oops, it's not what we want. I think we could put it right here. Yeah, we could. Okay. Just do it like that. There we go. All right. Then there's things that you could do to make it not so blocky looking. I like we could put some posts up here. Just break it up like that. Or you could do like this. 
just so it's broken it up some. There you go. That looks nice. Okay. But we're gonna need we're gonna need some more. And like I said, we're gonna extend this out a little bit. And we're gonna need um, some more fences and um, what's that called? And fence gates. All right, so this is our sheep pen. This should be recognized as a a house. So nothing, as long as we have a lot of lighting here, the wolves should not should not spawn in here. It's one of the problems with open fencing like we have with the cows. Sometimes those mobs will spawn in them. Or the wolves just glitch into the fence and they uh, and they end up um, killing all of our sheep. All right, so we need this. So I just need four and then I need some fences. So and our gates that is and let's see yeah okay I need some sticks oh it's using why is it using that it's weird it keeps it keeps switching to my oak wood planks and you remember in my earlier videos I showed you how to prevent oh oh there it is it if you want it to use a specific plank just move it into the hot bar and then it should there you go it keeps switching it though it, and it shouldn't okay that should be good enough oh I need to make a another gate that's why I was doing that. Okay, there you go. Need some dirt too. Okay. Yeah, the other way to prevent that from happening is just move it out of your inventory. All right, so if we do this. Hmm. Actually, yeah, that should be enough. I think the sheep will follow us in there, but what I was going to do now, nah, well, that's not what I'm going to do. I was going to put it here. The two. There you go. Take this out. Okay. Yeah, that should be good. Didn't mean to do that. Okay, let's see. Put this. The reason why I did that is because I was angled this way instead of this way, and that's why I laid it down that way. All right, so let's put light here. All right, we'll move these down here. It's actually too much lighting, but more to be better. Uh, we'll, we'll keep all that lighting there. Okay. Uh, so, so the reason why I did this is because the wolf would still try to eat the sheep from that. So now he's a little bit further out; he won't be able to get get them. Only problem, maybe why we should have done it this way. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Is so I'm going to put the gate over here. Because the other is by the ocean. And it's, um, uh, just over here. It's, it's by the ocean, and it just, we'd have to put a lot of dirt there. So let me get an axe. Instead, we're going to put it on the other side. That way, we can have a two two gate entry instead of just a uh, one gate entry all right let's um put this and then um 
we'll make it identical to the other side. Just like that. And we need to go sleep. It's getting dark. Go to sleep. There we go. All right. We're going to get this done. Where are you, Mr. Drown? Let's get you. Get down, get down. Only, I only killed him because, um, so that we can get the, what's that called? Um, the orbs, the enchantment orbs from him. Okay, we could take this out. Since we're going to have it over here, okay. So we'll have a gate there. We'll have an extended entryway here. And I don't have a shovel. So we're going to have to do like this. Shoveling with my fence. Which you could do as you can see, but it's not very efficient. Alright. And let's get the other two gates. There you go. That should prevent the wolves from... From getting to our sheep. Okay. Um, passing time. <laughs> Played a hundred days. All right. So let's see if we can find us a couple sheep's. The wolves around here keep keep uh, killing them, so it's hard to get them. Let's see if we can find a couple. There's, see, and then the, the wool, I mean the foxes eat all of the chicken. And I guess they kill the sheep too because that's sheep meat right there. Stop eating the chicken, Mr. Fox. I need them. All right, so we need to find some sheep. Find Mr. Sheep. Maybe over here. Our place is looking really nice. Oh, here's Mr. Wolf. I need you to go away. There you go. I should have fed him some bones. I could have showed you guys that. Totally forgot again. Okay, let's see if we can find sheep on this side. No sheep. There's a lot of pigs. Keep seeing pigs. We can harvest pigs, pork chops from pigs, so that maybe sheep will spawn up. I don't see any? I don't see any. Nope. I see wool from a sheep. I think is over there that just got eaten by another wolf. All right. No. Oh, what was that? I heard something. Was that a sheep or a cow? I think. Oh, it was a baby cow. Hello, Mr. Baby Cow. Okay. It's nothing. This hasn't grown either. Okay, let's go over here. If we don't see something soon, I will try to find it off camera. That way you guys don't have to watch me try to look for some sheep. Hello, Mr. Villager. And there's a pig over here. Two pigs. There's a baby. Oh, look, two baby villagers. Looks like our, our village... Um, vill village breeder is working unless there's a bunch of them over there that's doing it that's um, creating the the baby villagers here's a guy I wonder what he has for sale if you, if, if you want to see what he's trading for just press that left trigger on him and you can see you can s just go down and see the different things that he has you, just, you click on it and then I'll show you what he has, acacia sapling. And that is actually pretty good, uh, the blue ice, because if you don't find any ice around, 
if you can find six what's that called emeralds it's really expensive for some ice let's see how these guys are doing in here they look like they're doing okay hello guys and of course no sheep can't find any sheep all right no sheep so the next thing that we were going to build I'll, I'll i'll find sheep off camera probably unless you guys want to let me know if you want me to find it while you guys are on <laughs> but it seems a little bit boring trying to run around looking for sheep. Oh, oh sheep sheep here's a sheep all right come on mr sheep yeah look at that talking about sheep and we found a sheep hello come on mr sheep let's go this way Let's go this way. Follow me in here. Hopefully we can find another one of you. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, no. Oh, man. Come on, Mr. Sheep. Where did he go? Come on. Oh, another guy. Man, they're just all over the place trying to eat my sheep. It's the wolf den. There you go. Mr. Sheep, you almost died. I saved you from that baby wolf. You gonna thank me? No. All right. Anyways, I will, um, let me feed you just so that um, you are happy. There you go. Hopefully no wolves will get you now. There are so many wolves. Why were there so many wolves attacking? That's crazy. A baby wolf, an adult wolf. All right. So the other thing that we were going to create was a chicken farm. And let's see, where can we make our chicken farm? Uh, should we make it over here? Yeah, let's make it over here. Hmm, what's that over here? Hello, Mr. Baby Cow. Okay, we're going to need some iron to make this, so here's the pathway. Let me make a shovel. Oops, where, where's my crafting table? I must have left it in there. I need to get it before he tries to climb on it. And then try to go over. There you go. There you go, Mr. Sheep. Have your place back. There you go. Okay. We need a shovel. And if a sheep pops up, we'll try to we'll try to get the sheep. Okay, where's the shovel? There we go. Get this out. Okay. We want this path to extend this way to our to our chicken farm. So we want it to be a couple of feet away from that farm so let's move this up here and we want it maybe a couple feet away from the path so what we'll need is uh, this is the base and we're going to need uh, four slots of funnels to go right here in the center okay and so, oops, so this will be where the chest is going to sit. So maybe I should put that as a different block. Well, there won't be four chests, but we're going to put a chest down here, a double chest probably. And so these are going to be the legs of the chicken farm. It's not really a chicken farm, but an egg collector. Okay, we'll put two. Oops. They'll go up just like this. And there'll be um, funnels that will go down directly to the, the chest. We're, we're going to go too high, though. Um, well... It's going to be stairs right here, and then a stair right here. So, so it'll be stairs, stair, and then it'll go up. 
into into the um, into the funnels. They're not called funnels. They're called something else. Hoppers <laughs> into the hopper. All right. So let's. Um, I'm going to make this here so that you can see where the hoppers are going to go. So there's going to be stairs, stairs, and go, go up to a landing and then into, um, into the hoppers. And then the chickens will lay on top of the hoppers here. Okay, so we're, we need to go to bed. It got dark fast. Super fast. Okay, let's see if we can sleep. Yep, we can. Go to sleep. Oh, I thought something was in there. Okay. How did our sheep do? He's still in there. I can hear him. If you guys, if, I, if we spot another sheep, we'll, we'll put him in there. Okay, let's see. We need to eat too. Okay, so we could extend these posts up one, two. We just need to probably go to high. Put that another two here. And then, um, then we'll put gates right here. And then we'll put fences here. So let's see how many fences I have. We we'll need to make some more fences, just like that. And then we'll be put fences, and then we'll put a roof up top here. Okay. And so we could probably go ahead and put the roof. Um, we'll put that, and then we're gonna put. Just like that. We'll put it right here. Some sitting on that. I we'll have to get some more acacia slabs. You could use whatever blocks you want to use. This is what I'm using. And you can make the design whatever you'd like to design it as, as well. But this is how I'm designing. At least the part that you want to make consistent is that part down there. But uh, up here, you could do whatever you want. Okay, I need some more acacia wood. And then, um, what we do is close this off. We'll need some more that kind of slab as well, spruce slabs. We need some fences, some stairs. Let's go get some fences. We need four stairs, some more fences. Let's see if we have acacia wood. Yep, we have some acacia wood. We need some acacia slabs. Where's the slabs? Right there. Let's get 24 of those. And we need some more of this, some spruce slabs. And then on the top, I'm going to use um, the oak trap doors. So I think I'm only need four. And then we need some stairs. Let's see if we have some stairs already. And we'll make the stairs, um, we'll make the stairs with, uh, Spruce wood stairs. There you go. We need four. Okay, perfect. Let's go continue our build. We're gonna need we need the dirt because we're gonna have to use it as scaffolding. Went the wrong way. Okay. Let's see. So let's put the stairs. We could put the stairs up so we can walk up to this. Oh, we forgot to make the, the gates too. And you know what? I have a crafting table. I didn't have to go all the way over there. And we need um, 
two fence spruce spruce wood fences. Just like that. Okay, and then we need we need fences as well, spruce fences. Okay, that should be enough. I need four. Then we'll put some hoppers here. Okay. All right. Um, you could keep that like that, but I don't really like it to keep it that way. So what I like to do is put um, put it like that. So it looks more like stairs. And then I can put I could put lights up here or down here, just like that, or both. Um, or then you know what would look better actually instead of using spruce planks is cobblestone there you go then that puts a little bit more definition to the stairs it doesn't all blend that looks much nicer okay and then when you walk up here with the chickens, they'll go in here. They'll start laying eggs in the hopper, and then you can, and then start collecting all the eggs. And then when you have eggs, you can throw the eggs, and they'll um, create more chicken. And then you can harvest your feathers from the chicken. But you'll see the chest will have a lot, a lot of um, eggs in there. Okay, let's put this here. So now we could put the trap doors to close the top, just like that. There you go. And I like to put the light up here because you don't want some um, mobs spawning up there. And go. It's a nice little um, egg collector. We'll need to find chickens. We'll put the chest here, and then you can open it, and then we'll get the hoppers. Um, let's see if we have enough iron to make the hopper, and then we'll have to figure out how we're gonna get the chicken too. Let's see if we can make the hopper. I got seven. Let's see how many we have here. All right, we should have enough. Let's see. Um, let me put some stuff away. We'll put this away and this because I don't want to use that. And put our leather away and our feather. Okay. And then we'll cook some of this meat. All right. And I'll, sh I'll show you. So... I'm going to put the egg in my hot bar and then select it by using the left bumper and right bumper, just like that. And then if you press the left trigger, you'll throw it. And sometimes a chicken will pop out. You can also throw those at your friends, too. <laughs> All right, so let's see. We need to make um, some more spruce planks because we're going to need four chests. Okay, and the reason why we're going to need four chests is let's see if the hopper's down here. There's the hopper. If I press X, you need five iron ingots and a chest. Okay, so I need four chests and we need 20 uh, iron ingots. So we have enough iron ingots. So one, two, three, four. And then we'll just press Y on the hopper see if I if I press the X button you'll see what you need and I, it says I can make four okay so if I just press Y on it I'll have four hoppers now I need to make two more chests for the col collector that we could put at the bottom of the chicken alright so let's go over here This video is going a little longer because we've done a, a few things, but I want to go ahead and finish this. So, all right. Um, can't reach that. Let me cut this real quick so I can reach it. Okay. 
All right, so look, we put our chest here, just like that, okay? And you want one of your hoppers to go on top of your chest. Doesn't matter which one, you just one of them, okay? And remember, if you press the left trigger, it's just gonna open it. So you have to crouch first by pressing down on your right thumbstick, have your cursor on top of the chest, and then, and then press left trigger, and now it'll be pointed down, okay? And then, it is going into the, what's that called? Into the chest, okay? So let me put this slab back on. And now let me go up here. And so again, if you press left trigger while you're standing up, it's just gonna go into the item hopper and you'll see it. But if you, hold, if you press down on the right thumbstick, you could press left trigger and it will point the hopper into that hopper, just like that, okay? Let me see if I can see it from here. Um, probably not. And then I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna press down on the right thumbstick, left on the trigger, and I'll point it to that one. And then I'll do the same thing here. So this one is going into this hopper, and this hopper is going into this hopper, and that hopper is going into the chest. This hopper is going into this hopper, and that's going into the chest. So anything that falls into these hoppers will all go into this hopper and that hopper will drop it into the chest. And I'll demonstrate. So if I press up on my digital pad, I'll, oops, not up, sorry. If I press down on my digital pad, I'll throw it in there and you'll see that it will go into the chest, see? So, I don't know if you could see it, but to see that hopper is pointing into that hopper. And this hopper is pointing to that hopper. And this hopper is pointed to that hopper. And that hopper is pointed into there. So that finishes off our egg collector. And this finishes our episode. It's um, in, in our next episode, we'll get some chicken and we'll get some more sheep. But as always, if you like this video, please make sure you hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe and turn on that notification button as well so that you'll be notified when I upload a new video. And as always, grow through gaming, connect with people, and have a great day. Thank you for watching.